So today let's talk about the master antioxidant, glutathione. Now what is an antioxidant? Well, to understand that, you have to understand what a free radical is. If you take an atom with paired electrons, okay, if one of those electrons is missing, we have an, it's called an unpaired electron making it unstable. So that's called a free radical. It's not very balanced, and it can create a lot of destruction throughout the cells, the cell machinery, the DNA, etc. So an antioxidant comes along and donates an electron to balance it out and stabilize it. The problem is that antioxidant now loses its electron and it becomes unstable. So it has to get electron from another antioxidant. So this is why you have antioxidants in networks. And this is why you should never take a synthetic antioxidant because they've been known to cause cancer. Why? Because Synthetic antioxidants don't come in networks. They come as an individual synthetic antioxidant. So once they donate their electron, they become the problem. They become the free radical, and that can create all sorts of damage. Glutathione has been majorly studied. There's over 100,000 peer-reviewed papers in scientific journals on this one compound, glutathione. It's the most abundant antioxidant in the liver, but all your cells make it. And so it reduces oxidative stress. So if we're going to start balancing out these free radicals, we're going to reduce the amount of oxidation and, and stress to the body. Your body also makes free radicals for various things, killing microbes, breaking down certain things in chemical reactions. It even makes hydrogen peroxide. Glutathione is there to help neutralize some of these toxins that your body actually makes for various things. Also, glutathione helps maintain something called exogenous antioxidants. Exogenous are those things that are outside the body. So glutathione will help maintain antioxidants that come from the diet, like vitamin C and vitamin E. Glutathione, this antioxidant that our body makes, helps maintain these other antioxidants that we get from the diet. And also, these other antioxidants that we take for, get from the diet can also help maintain glutathione. Glutathione not only acts as an antioxidant, it also helps in detoxification. There are three phases of detoxification, phase one, phase two, phase three, where your body will take a poison and through different enzyme reactions, breaks down that poison into a harmless particle and then gets rid of it through either the skin, uh, the, the kidney through the urine, or the bowel, which actually comes through the liver and the bile and then through the intestine. So your body is constantly trying to get rid of stuff that's not good for it. It's the most abundant sulfur antioxidant, okay? All your cells make it, but it's pri primarily most concentrated in the liver. Because it's sulfur, if you consume certain foods that are higher in sulfur, you will actually give your body the raw material to make more glutathione. So take a wild guess what the sulfur-based vegetables are. You guessed it, cruciferous. So eating cruciferous vegetables will help you with this right here. Also, getting enough vitamin C from vegetables or other types of vegetables will also help you make more glutathione. Selenium is a good trace mineral to help build up glutathione as well. Milk thistle strengthens the liver cell so then your body can make more glutathione. And also fasting will increase the network of antioxidants to the body, which is actually quite fascinating. You would think that by not eating, it would shrink the pool of antioxidants. It does just the reverse, it increases. So with age, we decrease our ability to make this. We drink too much alcohol, stress, take drugs, toxins. Over time, it decreases the glutathione. A lot of times people neglect the antioxidant networks. They're very, very important at neutralizing toxic things. They're also involved in detoxification. And these are a few things you can do to make sure you don't run out of glutathione, as well as your other antioxidant networks that you need.